Welcome to Study with Smith Test Guide. This is a free dumb series of questions for CCNA. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with the series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this free dumb question series of videos. Thanks for your help. These questions are carefully prepared after obtaining a paid subscription, but I am sharing them with you for free. They have been immensely helpful in my successful CCNA attempt. In this video we'll take a look at CCNA exam version 1.0, CCNA 200-301, to topics related questions. So, today's topic is 1.1F, endpoints. Let's go to question 1. Which of the following best describes an endpoint in networking terminology? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D, a physical device, such as a computer or smartphone, that initiates or receives communication over a network. An endpoint in networking terminology refers to a physical device, such as a computer, smartphone, printer, or any device capable of initiating or receiving communication over a network. Endpoints are the source or destination of data transmission and are integral to network communication. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 2. What role do endpoints play in network communication? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D. They initiate or receive communication and exchange data over the network. Endpoints play a crucial role in network communication by initiating or receiving communication and exchanging data over the network. They are the source or destination of data transmission, allowing devices to communicate with each other. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 3. Which of the following is an example of an endpoint in a network? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C a server that hosts a website accessible over the internet. An example of an endpoint in a network is a server that hosts a website accessible over the internet. Endpoints can be devices like servers, computers, smartphones, printers, or any device that initiates or receives communication over a network. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question four. In the context of network security, what role do endpoints often play? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D. They are targets for security threats and breaches. In the context of network security, endpoints often serve as targets for security threats and breaches. This is because they are the devices that interact directly with users and applications, making them vulnerable to various types of attacks. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 5. Which of the following statements accurately describes the role of endpoints in network communication? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. Endpoints facilitate communication between different networks. Endpoints facilitate communication between different networks. They are devices that initiate or receive communication over a network, allowing data to flow between different networks or within the same network. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 6. What is the primary function of an endpoint in network communication? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. Initiating or receiving communication and exchanging data. The primary function of an endpoint in network communication is to initiate or receive communication and exchange data. Endpoints are the devices responsible for sending and receiving data over a network. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 7. Which of the following is an example of an endpoint device? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C, server. An example of an endpoint device is a server. Servers are devices that provide services, resources, or information to other devices on the network. They can host applications, websites, files, and more. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 8. What is the significance of securing endpoints in a network? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. It safeguards sensitive data and prevents security breaches. Securing endpoints in a network is significant because it safeguards sensitive data and prevents security breaches. Endpoints are often targets for cyber attacks, and securing them helps protect against unauthorized access and data leakage. Let's move on to the next question. 
Okay, let's go to question 9. Which network component is responsible for managing the flow of data between endpoints within the same LAN? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B. Switch. A switch is responsible for managing the flow of data between endpoints within the same LAN, local area network. Switches operate at the data link layer of the OSI model and use MAC addresses to determine where to forward network traffic within a LAN. Let's move on to the final question. Okay, let's go to question 10. Which layer of the OSI model do endpoints primarily operate at? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D. Application layer. Endpoints primarily operate at the application layer of the OSI model. This layer is responsible for providing network services directly to applications and end users. It includes protocols for tasks such as file transfer, email, and web browsing. So, here comes supplementary materials. The questions here are found in the email. Please comment with your email address in the comment section, and I will forward them to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and support my efforts. We will cover next topic from CCNA exam guide in the next video. Stay tuned.